Afternoon everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening. Uh, this afternoon we're going to do another propagation video. Um, this one's going to be on Hebe Caledonia. Excuse the noise as uh, I'm sure we will get some in the front garden where it is uh, a lot noisier as we're by the main road. Plant in question, Hebe Caledonia. Um, as you can see, this one is growing in a raised planter. Uh, it's been in here for about four years and kind of going the same way that a lot of Hebe's do go with age and that is they start getting a little bit woody through the centre. Um, but it is a fantastic variety. So um, I'd like to do some propagation of it and get some uh, plants for in the back garden and as a future replacement. Um, so you can see, well, by the fact we're in the middle of February, following some heavy snow and ice, it's quite a robust uh, evergreen shrub, uh, only getting about 50, 60 centimetres in width, uh, similar sort of height. Um, this was cut back in the summer, and you can also see that as well as this amazing foliage, it produces absolutely loads of flower as can be seen from all the old um, flower buds so yes that's right going to strike some hebe cuttings in february but you can do hebe cuttings from about february all the way through to june july but um, once you get to certainly june july or july it does start getting um, harder to keep them on the moist side so anyway let me cut some sections off so for getting my propagation material, treat it as though you're cutting back normally and cut to a, a set of buds. So that way you're preserving your shape of the plant anyway. And it won't really matter because we can then tidy up for um, or tidy up the stems for when you're actually wanting to do the cuttings themselves because we're cutting this early on in the season, um, which kind of goes against all the uh, rules for pruning and evergreen, um, then we're just going to take off minimal amounts and uh, just enough to give us uh, a few cuttings really. So our soil mix for doing the Hebe's in twos can consist of multi-purpose compost mixed with perlite. Perlite is a uh, volcanic matter. Um, so it has good drainage properties. It will hold moisture, but only a uh, limited amount. And then gradually the moisture comes out of that, but uh, it's nice and lightweight, but uh, provides very good drainage. So we just mix that in. So yeah, that's sort of a decent kind of consistency. And that's what we're going to be filling our pot up with. And then once we've got the pot filled up, we will then give it a good drink, uh, soak it, and then leave it to stand for about half an hour to um, get rid of any excess moisture and also for the temperature to get back up to room, uh, for the compost, sorry, to get back up to room temperature again. And then we can do our cuttings. So that's that. Right. We've uh, let the compost drain for about half an hour or so. Um, so as you can see, it's nicely absorbed in. And we've got our cutting material here. So what we're looking for, something around about three inches in length. Cut off just below a set of leaf joints. Strip off the bottom leaves and these lower pieces of stem, like so which will leave us with a cutting. Take off the top, so that's dipped into the hormone rooting powder. Make a hole that is roughly one and a half centimeters deep. Just pop it in and then continue with the other cuttings exactly the same way. So. You can afford to be a little bit picky as to what uh, 
what sections you're going to be using and you're better off stripping off more of the lower leaves than uh, keeping them just so you don't get uh, root rot uh, leaf rot sorry um, so them in, work your way filling up the edge and I say we've got plenty of cutting material here there's no need to sort the well having to try and use everything that you've cut just select the nice strong sections um, let's rip them off so if this was later in the season then you'd take off more of the top growth because you you know, potentially all this fresh bit because you wouldn't want so much moisture evaporation but uh, this time of year it's not a problem especially when it's going into a, a propagator unit that's going to be quite humid and then where you've got this this sort of section so we would do the snip as normal Ta make sure you take off any of these old flower shoots more to the outside and then well I think we'll have this one just for the middle there and then once these root you could then even well you could Either pot them out separately, or pot them on separately, I should say. Or um, there's one one pot in itself, but for me, I'm going to end up waiting for them to root and then uh, separate them all out. So that's the basic bit done. And literally pop it into your heated propagator unit if you have one. If you don't, then if you've got a, a spare window sill, Pop it onto the window sill just with um, a clear cellophane bag over the top or um, something of that nature and uh, that'll just stop it drying out too much. So, yeah, first section done. Hopefully, it won't be too much longer. Oh, it'll be a few weeks and then uh, they'll root through. So, for the time being, that's it done. Right, we're back. You can see from this that there's been a bit of a time difference because I've had all my hair chopped. So uh, five weeks on from uh, when I started the video on propagating the um, EB. So you can see, hopefully, that these have gone from being the cutting material, which was the uh, fresh growth of the purple tips to straight green now so we had an intermediate phase where the plants actually look like they're wilting and dying but the main thing is just keep them slightly on the moist side or dry to moist and they will grow through that stage and then the as you can see they're now producing fresh tips to show that they're growing and we just take those out so let's uh, tease them apart. Let's try and find. So there we have it. So you can now see it's got some tiny roots. So these essentially just want potting on now, and that will give you your brand new plants of. Hebe. So, as I say, start to finish, five weeks is uh, where we're at now. So, um, yeah, that's it. Pot them on, got yourself some new plants, and uh, by the end of the year, you have uh, plants big enough for planting out. So, uh, job done. How to propagate your Hebe's. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Uh, don't forget to press the reminder button for any new videos that I'm putting out 
and uh, yeah, any questions, just send them over to me and I'll get back to you in the meantime. Enjoy your gardening and uh, see you all soon. Bye for now.